Hey, how you doing today? Scott here from Out and About USA. Taking a trip down to the Chimney Rock National Monument, South Central Colorado, right off of Highway 160. Beautiful, beautiful country. Really stunning. Very beautiful. Um, this uh, National Monument's really cool because it's got a big rock formation and um, it's also got a bunch of pueblos, uh, ancient Native American ruins and archaeology sites. So, pretty excited to check that out. I hope you are too. Thank you so much to all the subscribers out there. You guys kick butt. Appreciate that support. Let's go ahead and check out this site. Alright, I paid 12 bucks to get in and take the drive up to the top instead of walking. And uh, I'm just driving up this, uh, driving up to the top of the mesa, about three miles. a grinding stone much different than the ones you saw down there which are for food this matate we're pretty sure is a pigment grinding matate for decorating pottery they could take nice plant material maybe even some rock or rock pre-rocks grind it really really fine with another rock mix it with water and probably some animal fat for thickening because they did have that they were they were hunting here so they did have that they were able to make brushes out of some of the plants and that kind of paint, pigment, could be used for decorating their pottery. And we do find a lot of decorated pottery here. Yes. Okay? Cool. Thank you. Yeah. So we think that the reason that there's these multiple matates in that one room, I call it the kitchen, is because grinding the corn into flour is kind of hard work. Sure. And we think that the, the it would be women and girls, and they would actually work together kind of an assembly line thing. Hmm. Like one lady would grab some corn kernels and put it in her matate and kind of start the grinding. Then she might move her pile over and someone else help to grind it finer and you know move it down because we know that they could make it as fine as flour no kidding so uh and so it was we're... probably a totally different kind of corn than we know no well that's interesting because uh information keeps changing we used to think it was all that really small corn kernel um but now they found evidence that they were they were able to grow more than one variety really and there's some of the corn again not like Corn from Olathe, or you know, sure, not like today, sweet corn. but still some of the corn more similar. Although again, with the kernels, not necessarily all yellow. You know, different colors of, of kernels. Interesting. Um, but 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 larger corn. Huh. Yeah, that they were able to, to and, and there would be some. They were smaller corn and larger corn. Sure. But yeah, there is evidence that they were gr uh, able to grow more than one kind, and that some of it was a little bit more like corn today. <laughs> huh. Oh. So yeah. So when do they think that people kind of arrived here? Or, or Nine, our time frame here is the 900s into the 1100s. Oh, okay. 200 year period or so, AD. Okay, AD so about, about, I just came from Canyon of the Ancients and that whole area, oh, so. Oh, nice. Yeah.
Uh, one, the one behind me here said it uh, had a fire at one point. And uh, then this one back here was also really amazing. Uh, you could see the fire pit and uh This is the spiritual side. Right. So down there in the lower trail is the Mesa Village. That was a living area, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And there's eight, eight villages around this area here where we know there's structures, there were people. But this was built specifically for, uh, for ceremonies. And especially since they were both built during a Northern Lunar Standstill, it, it gives the credence that that was a big event in their in their life. Yeah, yeah, totally. So did they think, did this have a roof at one time? Yeah, so they had a roof. There was one way in over in the middle there, there was a fire pit. And there was a ladder that you climbed down to get inside that. Huh. Yeah. Now, uh, the, the big thing to me is, is that it was meaningful because, first of all, their lifespan was probably very much shorter than what we have, probably around 35 to 40 years old. Those are all, uh, we believe, storage. No one, we believe, lived up here all year round. Okay, if there was somebody, it was a caretaker. So they think that some of the rooms might have been used for during ceremonies. They stayed up here for the length of the ceremonial period. But most of it, they believe, based on what they found in excavation, it was for storage. Okay, down there at the pit house, you will find that during the excavation of the pit house, they actually found ground maize that was probably a thousand years old. Wow. Nuts, seeds also. So it's you gotta remember that this climate actually helps out in some ways. Right. Because first of all, it's very dry. Right. Okay. And uh, it gets cold in the winter and gets hot in the winter. Rock National Monument. It was amazing. Very cool. Highly recommend it. Super easy, super cheap. 12 bucks to get in. 